One thing that I really hope my students can take away from their time with me is a belief that they can invent something creative and useful. And that belief that even as a young engineer, even as, you know, as young as a first year engineer, you might have something original to contribute to your profession is something that I deeply believe in and it's something that I'd hope that my students believe in themselves as well. My name is Joe Gaddis and I'm a senior lecturer in civil engineering at UQ. The thing that I really like most about teaching at UQ, and this is something that my international colleagues comment on when they come visit us at UQ, is we have incredible facilities. We have a dedicated teaching laboratory for every discipline within civil. And that means that when I have to teach students in an engaging way, it's as simple as taking them to work in the lab with me. Once you can show them physically what you're talking about, once they can get hands on with the technologies or the principles of physics that you're trying to explain, that really helps to spark, I guess, a passion in some of our students for that particular area, and then the rest is easy. Every year, without fail, I will have students challenging my own understanding of the topic. They will find the areas, of course, that I'm the least knowledgeable of, and they will ask me questions on that until I can explain it. As a way of learning, that's incredibly rewarding for me. But it also means that I'm finding new ways of understanding the topic because students see problems in different ways and their perception of what we're trying to learn shapes my own understanding of the topic and helps me evolve my teaching material to make sure that we can train up the next generation of civil engineering professionals. I am very confident saying that the academics that I work with here are some of the world leaders and that their knowledge is knowledge that I would not be able to access at most universities in Australia or in some cases even around the world. And my colleagues aren't just giving me ideas for how to advance building design, but they're also innovating in the classroom or in how they're educating their own students in really exciting ways. And so I'm constantly seeing opportunities that my colleagues have created for online and flexible learning, for lab prac demonstrations, for field work, and they give me ideas that I can feed into the courses that I'm responsible for. And so together we can you know, evolve our program in a cohesive and a really exciting way.